Maddie, and today we're going to explore my top 10 items of Harry Potter merchandise. Alright, so the first item as you saw in the intro is this. This is Bellatrix's mask, uh, her Death Eater mask, and it's just the most beautiful thing I own. It is from Noble Collection. It says Bellatrix to Stra Illa Strange down on the bottom. And here's the mask. Uh, you can actually take this off. It's actually just held on there with Velcro and you can actually wear the mask too. All right, so I'm counting this as one, these two things as one item just because I couldn't choose uh, my favorite, so. Uh, it's another Bellatrix Less Strange item and then a Luna Lovegood item. All right, these are Funko items. I'm not sure exactly what line they are, but they are from Funko. And yeah, Bellatrix and Luna. The next item, item number three, is a book, which happens to be the third Harry Potter book. Uh, this one in particular is actually from Paris, from the Shakespeare and Company bookstore. Um, it's actually a famous bookstore. It's like one of the only... English bookstores in Paris and so on the inside of all of the books they stamp it with these stamps and it's just like super neat to have. I got this for Christmas um, and yeah. Item number four is a wand. This wand and it is a in a beautiful Ollivander's box. Uh, it's a little difficult to see just because it is in a blue box with black writing on it but it's not an interactive wand, and that's just because um, they didn't have interactive wands at this point. Um, this wand chose me, so that's amazing. Uh, and by chose me, I mean that they have this little ceremony in uh, Ollivander's where they choose one person, and then in this case too, me and my best friend were both chosen, and they pick your wand for you. It's a little ceremony. And yeah, so here's the wand. And on the inside of the box, it just looks like this with this beautiful fabric lining here. And just it's just probably in styrofoam, something like that. So yeah. The next item is another book, and it is the Harry Potter Film Wizardry. It is just the most amazing book ever, just because like it's so detailed and like there's so many little pullouts that you can see. If I can open to a good page. Yeah, there are just like these potion bottles and then uh, the Bazaar page. These are just stickers. And so yeah, this book is so beautiful. If you want a full run through of it, just leave it down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, I'd be glad to show you this book just because it is so beautiful. And there is actually a page with the Marauders mat that you can pull out. So definitely one of my favorite Harry Potter books that I own, other than the actual books in the series. Item number six is probably one of my all-time favorites, just because this is one of my favorite magical items. And this is a Noble Collection item, and it is the Marauder's Map. Uh, you can open it up here. It actually stretches to be quite large. It doesn't even, like, it's larger than my wingspan. Um, yeah, now I need to fold it back up somehow. Got it. Uh, so yeah, you open it up and you can see these little flaps that you can open up also. And yeah, it's just, it's a beautiful piece. I highly recommend getting it just because I believe it was only like $35, $40. Alright, item number seven I actually made. Um, so yeah, I will show you up close. It's just this ceramic ball that has all of these Harry Potter items on it, like the Goblet of Fire, this says HP on it, it's got footsteps all over it like the Marauder's Map, the Night Bus, a potion, a wand, uh, glasses with a little scar, and yeah, there's a big snake here too, which is actually really cool. So that's Nagini, and there's the Sorting Hat, and then there is the Hogwarts Crest seal. Item number eight is actually a snow globe, and it is probably my favorite snow globe. As I've stated in earlier videos, I do collect snow globes, and this one is of Hogwarts. 
Um, a little disappointing element of this is that um, if you see inside, uh, some of the paint is actually coming off. Like you can see where the paint is coming off right there. Um, and so yeah, this product isn't the greatest, uh, like, quality, I guess, but I still love it just because it is Hogwarts and there is snow inside of it. So if it's a snow globe, I like it. The next item is one of the magical creatures. This is Hedwig, of course, and just this is the box. Sorry, there's a glare on it. I can take the box off. All right, so here is Hedwig. Uh, she just looks beautiful perched on a stack of books and you can actually take her off the stack of books and you can see on the base there is Harry's wand and the Marauder's map. But yeah, Hedwig just like sits on these books so it looks like she's kind of tottering on the pile of books. And then this is the glass, well plastic, um, display case that just fits right on there quite perfectly so it's actually kind of hard to get it in but I'll deal with that later. All right so item number 10 is this. This is another Noble Collection item and it's absolutely breathtaking you guys. So these are Dementors uh, surrounding this orb and it's sitting on a base of Hogwarts. So I will take each item and show you guys because these um, come off. And so this, we'll start with this. This item actually has a lot of weight to it actually, so I'm kind of surprised that the wooden base can handle it. But yeah, these are just Dementors that swirl around the piece of glass. And yeah, this is a solid ball of glass. So it like magnifies the Hogwarts beneath it if you look inside. I'm going to try and show you, like, it just magnifies Hogwarts if you actually look inside the ball, which is actually super neat. So this is what the base looks like from the top and from the side. And here is a close-up view of the entire thing. This is probably one of the most expensive Harry Potter items that I bought. I believe it was like $70, $65 or something like that but it's beautiful. Like, I couldn't pass it up. I got it for Christmas one year while I was out shopping, and so, all right, so those were all of my favorite Harry Potter merchandise items, and yeah, I just, I can't get over the beauty of the wand, and this, I mean, like, come on. Like, how could you pass this or this up? I mean, I couldn't, so. Yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching!